In this video on the binomial expansion, we're going to have a look at what we've uh, done previously and how we can use that to help us to do further expansions. Um, so, I have already expanded uh, a binomial. I've got 2 plus 3x to the power 6. There's my working out for expanding it. Um, and when I work out each of the individual terms, I get 64 plus 576x plus 2160x squared plus 4320x cubed and so on. So I've already worked that out in part A of the question, so. Part B of the question might say, hence, finds the coefficient of x squared in the expansion of 1 minus 2x squared multiplied by 2 plus 3x to the power 6. So this I've already expanded, it's this. I've just got the 1 minus 2x squared here that I need to expand, and then I can times the two things together. So, if I expand 1 minus 2x all squared, I can do that just using the techniques from GCSE. Uh, so 1 squared is 1, 1 times minus 2x is minus 2x, and double it to so minus 4x. And then the minus 2x times minus 2x is plus 4x squared. So this is this. And that needs to be multiplied by everything I've worked out before. Now I say everything, I'm not actually going to write it all down because I don't need it to be turned to answer this question. In fact, I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to write the cubes term down here. Because all I'm actually interested in is finding the coefficient of the x squared. So I'm not actually interested in the x cubed or the x to the power 4 or any of the, of the other terms apart from the x squared term. So with that in mind, I could multiply all of this out. I could go the 1 times the 64, the 1 times the 576x, the 1 times the 2. I could expand it all out. However, that's quite a long process. So instead, let's try and be smart about this and think about which terms do I actually need? Which terms, when I multiply, are going to give me an x squared? And it's really important you think carefully about this, because so often people make a silly mistake by missing one of them off. So let's go through here, and I'll just highlight them for now. So the 1, if I times that by the 2160x squared, that will give me an x squared term. The minus 4x, if I times that by the 576x, that would give me an x squared term, because the x times the x would give me an x squared. And then the 4x squared multiplied by the 64 would also give me an x squared term. So those are all the different ways that I can get an x squared term. So let's work out what each of those would be. So the 1 times the 2160 is that. Then I've got the minus 4 times 570, uh, sorry, minus 4x times uh, 576x which is going to be, uh, it's going to be a minus, uh, it's going to be 2,304, I think, x squared. And then the 4 times, uh, the 4x squared times the 64 is 256. There we go. So those are my x squared terms. In terms of actually working out what the coefficient is then, let's just add each of the, uh, those together, or collect the like terms. Um, so let's work that out. So 2160 plus 256. Um, let's just put that down. Then take away the 2304 is going to be 112. Squared, I think. Yeah. So the coefficient of x squared is 112. And that is my answer. There we go. So that's how we can 
efficiently, finds the coefficient of one term um, when we need to do further expansions. It is unlikely you will be asked to do a question where you actually need to expand this out extremely uh, in, the, in the long way. Most of the time it will be a question like this where you can think really carefully about which multiplications will give you the term that you're looking for.